Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning Large Language Model and Vision Language Model Tutorials. In this tutorial, we explain how to install and run locally a tiny vision language model called Moon Dream. This is a very small vision language model that can be executed both on CPUs and GPUs. The model is versatile and can be used for describing images, object detection, pointing, captioning, etc. The main advantage of this model is that it has a very small size. The smallest version has around 0.5 billion parameters and, more importantly, can be executed on CPUs. As such, it is ideal for edge devices. Of course, the model speed of inference can be accelerated by using GPUs if you have a GPU on your system. In this video tutorial, we explain how to install and run a CPU-only version of Moon Dream. Our computer has an Intel i9 processor with 48GB RAM. In the next tutorial, we will try to run Moon Dream on Raspberry Pi 5. A lot of viewers of this channel are complete beginners or know very little about vision language models. Consequently, let us explain the main idea. A user provides an image and a question as inputs to the model. For example, we can provide an image and ask the model to describe what is on the image. The vision language model analyzes and under quotes understands what is in the image and provides the answer in the written form. This is just one example of capabilities of vision language models. Vision language models can also be used for complex reasoning and object detection, which is a very interesting application in robotics. In the future, vision language models will serve as the backbone of robotic systems. For example, imagine an elderly person who gives voice commands to a humanoid robot. For example, an elderly person can ask the following, give me a yellow book standing on the middle shelf in the corner of the room. The robot equipped with a camera will take a photo of the room and will use a vision language model to perform object detection, understanding of a scene, and retrieve the book. Here is an example. I provided to the Moon Dream this image and I asked the model this question. What is in the image? I asked the model to generate the caption which will generally describe this image and it will provide a more specific answer to this question. And here is the caption. The image depicts a scene of a battle between two groups of soldiers. The soldiers are armed with futuristic weapons including guns and missiles and wearing futuristic suits. The soldiers are positioned in a dynamic action-packed scenes with some soldiers firing their weapons. And here is the rest of the caption. And over here you can see the answer. Both the caption and the answer are generated by the model. And you can see in the answer how precise and accurate is the model. The image depicts a futuristic scene with a Shiba Inu dog wearing a futuristic suit firing a blaster. Wow, this is truly amazing. The dog is positioned in the foreground while the background features other futuristic looking robots all appearing to be in motion, which is really true. The scene is set against the backdrop of a cloudy sky adding to the overall futuristic ambience. And this is really amazing. Okay, let's start with installation instructions. First of all, open your favorite search engine and search for Moon Dream GitHub. Then at the top of the response, you should see the official GitHub page of Moondream. Click on the official GitHub page, then scroll all the way down and find the section getting started. The first step is to download the model checkpoints. Here you have two options. You have the smaller model, which is around 0.5b parameters, and you have the larger model, which is around 2b parameters. 
This smaller model is actually ideal for running on edge devices or running on Raspberry Pi. I will test this model in my future video tutorial. In this current video tutorial, since I'm running everything on an Intel computer, that is a computer with an Intel processor, I will lar run the large model. And I will click over here to download the model parameters. I will save them in the downloads folder. Okay. Now be patient until the model is downloaded. While the model is being downloaded, let's create the model folder and let's create a Python virtual environment. To do that, open a command prompt and then navigate to C drive, then create a folder called Moon Dream, then navigate to this folder, and in this folder, we will create a Python virtual environment such that we can run the model inside of the virtual environment and install all the necessary Python libraries. To create the Python virtual environment, you need to type python -m venv and you need to name your environment. In my case, the name is environment1. And over here, you need to be patient since it's going to take 5 to 10 seconds to create a Python virtual environment. After creating the Python virtual environment, we need to activate this environment. To activate this environment, we need to execute this command over here. And over here, you can see that the Python virtual environment is activated. The next step is to copy the downloaded model file to this folder. To do that, Let's go back to the downloads folder and you can see that the model file is downloaded. Let's extract this file. And now the file is being extracted. Here it is. Then let's open the folder and let's copy this model file, which is around two gigabyte to our moon dream folder. So let's go to our C drive, moon dream, and let's copy the file over here. Here it is, perfect. Let's go inside of our command prompt and let's type this command and you should see the file over here. The next step is to install the necessary libraries. Luckily, we need to run only a single pip install command. Here it is. And this command will actually install a number of Python libraries and packages. Here they are. You can see what's being installed. Now over here, you need to wait for a while since it's going to take even up to a minute to install everything. In my case, it's going to go faster since as you can see over here, I'm using the cached versions that are already downloaded on my disk. Over here, you can see that everything is being installed and you can type pip list to see all the libraries that are being installed. The next step is to copy a picture or an image to this folder. Over here, I'm going to use this image. The name of the image is photo.png. So I will copy this image and I will copy it to my moon dream folder. That is to my workspace folder. Here it is. Let's go back in the command prompt. And if we type this command, we should see the photo. Good. The next step is to create the code and to execute the code that will run the model. Use your favorite Python editor. In my case, I'm using Visual Studio Code. On my YouTube channel, there are a number of video tutorials explaining how to install Visual Studio Code on Windows and Linux machines. Click here and click Yes. Then click on File, New File, and let's call the file as test.py. Here it is. Let's save the file in the same workspace folder. And over here, to save time, I'm going to simply copy and paste the content of the folder, or better to say, the content of this. 
Here's the code that will load and run the model. First of all, we need to import the Moon Dream library. Then from Pillow, we need to import image. Over here, we create the model. We need to specify the absolute path to the main model file. In our case, you need to specify the absolute path to this file. And you can see that it is on C, Moon Dream, and here is the name of the file. So let's just in case copy the name of the file, paste the name over here, and make sure that the path is correct. Then over here, we need to specify the absolute path to the image. The image is located in the Moon Dream folder and it's called photo.png. Consequently, over here, we wrote cmoondreamphoto.png. Here we encode the image and we do two things. First of all, we ask our model to generate the caption and we do it like this. And after that, we ask the question. And here's how we ask the question. What's in this image? Okay, simple as that. And then finally, we print the answer as well as we print the caption. Let us now run this test file. To run this test file, you first need to tell to Visual Studio Code to select the Python interpreter inside of the virtual environment. To do that, press and hold Control, Shift and P and search for Python, select interpreter. Here it is. Make sure that you select the Python interpre interpreter that is inside of the virtual environment that we just created and then click here to run everything. And over here you can see in real time the model execution. Let's analyze the CPU and memory consumption. The memory consumption shouldn't be too big since the model is only 2B parameters, that is 2 gigabyte. And here you can see the CPU power. You can see that CPU is trying really hard to generate the response. Note over here that the inference speed would be probably three to four times faster if we selected a smaller model, which has around 500 billion of parameters. I'm going to try to run this model on my desktop computer as well as on my Raspberry Pi 5. Let's analyze what's happening with the GPU. It seems that the GPU itself is an idle, is in idle state, as you can see over here. However, the CPU is running and it's going to take maybe 30 seconds to maybe one minute to generate the response. So let's be patient. And here it is. Here is the caption. The image depicts a scene of a battle between two groups of soldiers. This is the caption that I read previously. And over here, we ask the question, what is in the image? And let's see the answer. The answer is still being generated. And here it is. The image depicts a futuristic scene of the Shiba Inu dog donning a futuristic suit. Okay, not too bad. It took around maybe 30 seconds to one minute to generate these two answers. Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.